In this class, we'll talk about MCQ questions in reading section. So this is going to be your savior. OK, so you don't want to miss this video and you're going to watch this till the end. And here, before doing this MCQs Q questions, you need to understand that this is not only a MCQ question. OK, this is yes, this is a multiple choice question, but this particular question is standard multiple choice question and it appears in two styles. The first style is a generalized style and the next one is specific style. So before doing this question, what you need to understand is you need to know what is a generalized standard multiple choice question and what is a specific standard multiple choice question. That is very important. So I will begin with a generalized version. In these questions here, in a generalized style here, you will see the reference of writer. The writer refers to visitors. Here you see paragraph, right? According to the second paragraph, the writer in the fourth paragraph, in the sixth paragraph, in the last paragraph. So these are the references that you find in the generalized questions. So while solving these generalized questions, you need to go to the particular paragraph. You need to read the paragraph, find the gist of the paragraph and match it with the options. OK, so here it says, according to the second paragraph, what is the writer's view of explorers? So obviously you need to go to this paragraph and you need to read it, find the gist and go to the options and match it. So in these options, you may not find the words from the passage. You may find contextual words, right? Or you may only find the context or you may find the gist. That's why you need to jump to the paragraph here. It says fourth paragraph. You need to jump to the fourth paragraph and read it and find the gist. OK, and match it. So here we also need to know the concept of contrasting connectors. And uh, this is very important. Contrasting connectors are very important. If you do not know about contrasting connectors, then you may want to watch another video first. And that video is titled Secrets of Mass the Heading Questions. And that is on my YouTube channel. Uh, I will put the link in the description also. So first of all, you need to go there, watch that video and then come back to this one. OK, because I'm not going to explain about contrasting connectors in this video. So. This is a generalized question here you have and let's see specific question here. In this question, do you find any reference of writer or paragraphs that does it say according to writer or according to second, third paragraph? It doesn't say so, right? So this is a specific question for this question. You just need to find the keyword. Go, uh, go to the sentence where you find the keyword and you will find the answers exactly or just the synonyms in the passage. You don't have to go for the context and all. You will find it easily because this is a specific standard multiple choice question. So these types of questions will be particularly found in passes one and two and generalized questions are found in passes three. Here you can see that this is question number 27 to 32. So this is in passes three, right? So first of all, let's go to a specific one. Let's do a specific questions and then we'll go to the generalized one. I don't want you to miss this video. I want you to watch it completely. OK, watch it till the end. And yes, you may want to subscribe because you want you, you will you will get very valuable information and techniques strategies of uh, ILTS in this channel. So you need to subscribe and bail the channel. Now let's go here. This is Bobbitt's mostly inhabit death. Now we need to go and find the word inhabit but before that, let's see some question. If any of the questions begin with date, consist of date or proper names, then we will do that question. But here we do not find date and all. So here we have our first keyword in habit. Now what students do is they do a mistake while solving these questions. They just go for the keyword of question number one and waste their time searching for the word in habit, which they will not find here. Right. So what you need to do is you need to read the keywords of question number one, two, three at once and go and dive in the passage. Let's say here it talks about inhabit right in these options. There are countries here. It talks about locations. OK, and in these options, there are some locations and here it talks about common feature. Common feature. So what we need to do is we need to take these three words in our mind inhabit locations common feature and then go here and try to find it now let's say you are searching for the word inhabit uh, i also did this question today on tiktok live right i i think you were there 
so if you missed something then you can find everything here in this video on this video let's see if you do not find inhabit let's go from here we do not find inhabit but the good news is we found a word grassland habitats and we know that this word is here grassy areas so obviously this is something about question number two favorable locations right now let's go and search for question number two first here let's say it's mainly recorded in southeast asia okay diversified no boys adapted so here we are we have something about adapted that means favorable locations adaptation right it, it obviously it's talking about locations here so they are adapted to open grassland habitats so what is the option see you will find the options quite easily right you'll find it quite easily you don't have to read the whole paragraph and find the gist you will find the option the answer simply so here we found the answer of question number two that's that means the answer of question number one appears before this point so let's go to bo bo uh, Bovids, Bovids mostly inhabit Africa, Eurasia. Okay, there we have here we have Africa, native to of Africa, but it says native to Africa. It doesn't say it inhabit in Africa, right? Yes, it's native, but we need the word inhabit. So to uh, to make you fall in the trap, they gave you this word Africa in option A because you'll simply see Africa and you'll take this option which will be which is going to be wrong. We need to find inhabitation. Inhabit. Where did they inhabit? Let's find other words like this. Here we have Southeast Asia. Now is it talking about inhabit? Let's see. Bovids are not so common in endemic insular fauna and are mainly recorded in this. Mainly recorded in. That means mainly they are found in. They are found in. That means they inhabit in. Okay, so where do they inhabit? They inhabit in Southeast Asia. So this is the answer of question number one. Now we'll go to question number three. Here we have common feature. Let's see in this paragraph. Okay, it talks about ears, necks. Obviously, it, it, it's talking about features. We have four options. Let's read it quickly. Okay, you can simply eliminate it. In these types of questions, what you need to do is you need to eliminate the wrong ones and you will automatically get to the right ones. Okay, for example, you can eliminate A because it says horns are short. Here we find them talking about horns okay here but it doesn't say whether it is long or short so you can simply eliminate it let's see b storing food upper incisors hoops on divided in this paragraph we do not find any of this information let's go to this one okay here we have instead of the upper incisors bobits have a thick and tough layer of tissue so they don't have upper incisors right you can simply eliminate c so you have now b and d Let's find something about hoops. Do we find, yes, here we have hoops. Do we find something about being undivided, hoops being undivided? You can read it and you will find out that you do not find anything about hoops being undivided. So you can also rule that out. So our answer is B, but where is the answer? Let's find it out. Here we have bobits written on di undigested food in their stomachs. Okay, here you find uh, the answer. C. Okay, you can read it and find it out. So while uh, doing these types of questions, there are some rules that you need to understand. The first one is whether this is a specific or generalized questions. In, in some questions, number one can be specific, number two can be generalized. How do you know whether it's generalized or not? If the question consists of according to writer, according to this paragraph, then that is going to be a generalized question, generalized style of standard multiple choice question. And in specific questions, you don't have a problem. You just need to go to the passage and find the keywords and tick it. They are correct. Tick the correct option. Now let's get back to the generalized one. Okay, here we are. This is question number 27. Here it says the writer refers to visitors to New York to illustrate the point that. And there are some options. You can pause the video and read the options. So here we have something about New York. We don't know where New York is. But in question number 28, it says according to the second paragraph. So question number 28 speaks about second paragraph and question number 27 says New York and you need to understand that this is a follow-up question. Follow-up question means only after the answer of question number 27 you will find the answer of 28 and only after 28 you will find the answer of 29. Okay, let's say the answer of question number 27 is in this point. The answer of 28 will be after this point, not before that. So this is a follow-up question. In my full course, I have talked about follow-up and non-follow-up questions and I have discussed all every types of questions. 
uh, it has a 12 hour reading class okay so that's quite detailed so you can go to my full course and find it out if you want uh, let's focus here now so here we have new york and we let's find new york here we find new york so what you need to do is this is a generalized question that's why you need to go to the paragraph read the first paragraph and find the answer and tick the correct one let's see you have some time you can look at yourself you can pause the video okay let's see so the paragraph begins with we are all explorers our desire to discover and then share that newfound knowledge is part of what makes us human so it says this now we need to search for contrasting connectors because if we find contrasting connectors then we know that these things are contradicted but here we do not find any contrasting connectors in this paragraph that means what is said in this first and second lines are supported by the last sentences, right? Because there are no any contrasting connectors to contradict the first and second sentences. That's very obvious. So it's, to take, it's talking about what makes us human. It's, it's about desire to discover a newfound knowledge. Now, this dash includes the explanation of the sentence. We don't want to read this. Let's begin from this point. You can read it from this point and here we have questing nature of ours right so we have a nature questing nature that means searching for more searching for discoveries searching for new knowledges and that's why because of this people go for uh, go to the subways of new york they do not walk straight they go they uh, they negotiate the different subways because they have questing nature they have desire to discover that's why they go to the subways of new york okay it's all about people nature and their questing nature now let's go to options and let's rule out some of these bad guys see option d you can simply rule it out because it says daunting it's not daunting right it doesn't say anything about it you can rule out option b because it talks about most people but it is not about most people it is about all the people we are all explorers our desire to discover it's talking about human beings not most people you can simply rule out option c because it doesn't say anything about surprising results it says that we have a desire to discover that's why we are making discoveries we have questing nature so there is nothing surprising here so option a is left and option a is quite appropriate because here we have intrinsic element intrinsic element of being human so this is all talking about intrinsic element of being human see how did i do this answer i read the whole paragraph i underlined the keyword okay you can underline the keywords and then you can take out a zest go to the list and then rule out the bad options bad guys and then you'll come to the right guy now let's go to question number 28 here we have the question says according to the second paragraph right now we need to go to the second paragraph and read it out but let's read the question first what is the writer's view of explorers now here we find a game here we have a word however this is a contrasting connector if you do not know about it then you need to go and watch the uh, video titled secrets of master headings i have Give the link in the description now uh, before giving you the answers um, i will show you how they try to play with you see before i want you to read what's written here before however read till this point pause the video and read till uh, read till this point and you will find that here the writer says that explorers let me change the call explorers are very different right explorers are very different and they are well traveled they are different people from others but after however it says that not only explorers but everybody is different even if it is a artist or a biologist or a, an astronomer everybody is peculiar everybody is different now this however changed the course of the sentence before this however here the writer said that only explorers are different but after however uh, the writer is saying that everybody is different everybody belonging to all sorts of professions they are different so they are it's not that explorers are only different but even you and me we are also different it, even if it is an artist biologist or an astronomer so that is the sense that is the gist of this paragraph now let's go to option a you can rule that out because there's nothing about advantages and disadvantages you can simply rule this out okay there's nothing about advantages and disadvantages so there's nothing about teaching others so you can also rule this out so whether it's c or d 
Now, it doesn't say that they are more attracted, attracted to certain professions. It is quite the opposite. They say that whether it is an artist, biologist or an astronomer, it doesn't matter which professions, they are all the same. But here it says more attracted to certain professions. So you can also rule this out. So option C is your answer. And option C actually says the same thing in paragraph, uh, second paragraph. Let's see. That is common to everyone. Right? They act on an ors that is common to everyone. So that is not different. Let's go to question number 29. Here we have egged on heat. Question number 30 says fourth paragraph. So our answer of question number 39 is going to be in the third paragraph. This one. First of all, let's find, uh, let's read uh, uh, these options quickly. Here we have Hardy, Hardy, right? Hardy's aim, Hardy. So this, all these options are focused in Hardy. So here we have a novelist named Thomas Hardy. This is a pessimist novelist. Let's, uh, let's find what does Hardy has to do with this question because we have Hardy in all the options. I will give you some time to pause the video and find the answer. So you can simply rule out, you can pause the video and find the answers. You can simply rule out this one, right? This is not the answer. And I think this is quite a straightforward answer there. He here, he talks about desires and fears, right? Into matters we all recognize because they are common. So they are talking about emotions. Okay, he's trying to connect the emotions with this remote landscape. It's all about emotions. Let's find it here. Emotional states. So this is only the correct answer here. So there's nothing about mistaken about this nature of exploration. There's nothing about option B. You can simply rule it out. Option A. Okay, if option A and C confuses you, then C is the closest one here. It talks about desires and fears and emotions, right? So option C is going to be the right answer for you. Let's go to paragraph uh, question 30. Here we have something about a golden is in an inverted comma. And I have already told you in DATE technique that E stands for inverted comma. And the word that you find in inverted comma will be found exactly in the passage. It will not, uh, the synonyms will not be used because it is inside inverted comma. Can you see this? Okay. So this will be found exactly in the passage. Let's find the golden is. Here we have a golden is. Okay, here. Now let's read it. Let's go for contrasting connectors. Here we have a contrasting connector. Okay, you can read it and find the answer. The answer is D. Now you need to find it out. Here it says that 10 million, including we have studied only 5% of the studies. Right, workings of 10%, you can just simply read this and find it out. The entire thing is after the contrasting connector, we find the real thing. This is the game here. Okay, you need to understand this. This is the severe concept that nobody will tell you. Nobody. Okay, now let's go to the next question. But I'm telling you, okay, don't count me in nobody. So let's go to question number 31. It says in sixth paragraph. So this is one, two, three, four. Let's go to sixth paragraph. This is the sixth paragraph. Okay, I want you to read it. You can pause the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the answer? C, you can rule out C. C is not the answer. You can rule out D. It's not talking about more valid definitions. It's talking about different definitions given by different personal uh, professional people. For example, let's see here. Historian gave one definition and scientist gave another definition, right? They each set their own particular criteria. So here we have the answer. Aha, uh -huh. option A, question number 31. People tend to relate exploration to their own professional interests. So this is the answer of question number 31. Good, you're doing good, guys, you're doing good. Okay, guys, let's see question number 32 here. Last paragraph. Okay, now we're talking about last paragraph. The writer explains that he's interested in. So what is he interested in? You need to particularly find what is he interested in. Okay, you need to find this. So let's go and let's read some of these uh, sentences and let's found, uh, let's try to find any contrasting connectors. Okay, here we have contrasting connectors contrasting connectors 
and here see, there is something about what interests me so our answer is going to be in this last line last sentence okay we are going to read this and find our answer the last one great the answer is b here it says fresh interpretation of a wild traveled route can give its readers new insights cast new light that means fresh interpretation or places that may be familiar that means well traveled route so this is how you do this generalized questions and you need to understand that there is a difference between these types of questions specific questions and these types of generalized questions so the approach for doing these questions are different and you're going to do this now after watching this video uh, i hope that you find the answers of these questions quite easily especially if it is in passes three okay and if it's passes three you need to read the topic and the first paragraph quickly so that you have an overall idea of the passes now you're going to hit that subscribe and bell button and write a comment if you like the video thank you